Hi, my name is Kel. Today I will talk a little bit about Undergrip. Who are we? Where we came from? And at the end of the video, I will answer some of the most common questions people ask us. Welcome to Undergrip channel. Yeah. Hi guys. Before I start, make sure to like, subscribe and press the bell button so you'll be aware of our next upcoming video. Let's go! Well, it all started with two best friends who all they wanted was to skate. Mark and I are best friends since we were 8 years old and you'll meet him in our French version of our videos. We are born here in Quebec, Canada. We have a lot of forests here. The view is awesome, but as they say, when you have trees, you don't have streets. Our streets here are like, um, they're ugly. There's a lot of cracks and bumps everywhere. Our foot were getting numb real fast because of that. We tried many ways, many things to help us skate around here on our beautiful streets. <laughs> we tried different set of wheels, different set of bushings, even different set of trucks. It worked a little bit, but it was not enough for us. So we were thinking, thinking, always thinking about what can solve this problem. So one day we were asking ourselves, what is the first thing our feet touch on the skateboard? The grip tape. So the grip tape has to be absorbed, right? And boom, under grip is born. And we work on this project since then. We've made many prototypes and when we thought we had our final product, we were giving samples to different skaters, different companies, just to have feedback. Even Braille Skateboarding tried one of our prototypes. Big thanks to Undergrip for sending us this grip. Alright, so your thoughts on the shock absorbing setup? Uh, grip tape is the best feature. The grip is awesome. I will put the link down below, go take a look at that. And because of your feedback, I'm more than happy to tell you that we have our final product. But wait, wait, we don't only have shock absorbing grip tape. What? We have standard too. That is a standard grip tape. And that is a shock absorbing grip tape. We have 18 beautiful models right now. Go take a look at them on our website. Comment down below which one is your favorite. We do both shock absorbing grip tape and standard grip tape for those who are used to have standard grip tape. Our grip tape are 34 by 10 inches instead of 33 by 9 like the other companies. It's a little bit bigger to fit all kind of skateboard, cruisers and some longboards. You will like the shock absorbing grip tape on your skateboard, but you will love it on your cruisers and on your longboard. Since undergrip is born, we just keep getting bigger and bigger. We are now in a lot of skate shop and some of our models are now in Skater Excel. Which we will do another video on how to get them. Also, we've been part of the biggest skateboarding contest here in Canada and it's the Jackalope Fest. Hey, what's up everybody? You're here with Greg Lutzka. We are at the 2019 Jackalope Fest. It's a good time out here in Jackalope. Good. Montreal. That was insane. We've met some of our favorite pro skaters such as Andy Anderson and Annie Giglia. This event really tells us that, guys, people love your grips. Alright, now it's time to answer your questions. Question number one, is your shock absorbing grip tape heavier? Well, I don't know. Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. Let's see the difference between those two. 
that's the weight of a normal grip tape. And that's the weight of a shock absorbing grip tape. Back to you, Kale. Well, thank you, Kale. And the difference is 73 grams. 73 grams is not a lot. Question number two. Is the shock absorbing grip tape feels the same under your feet? And the answer is no. What would be the point of changing something if it doesn't change something? You will really feel the difference on rough surfaces or when you're clearing gaps. And if you use it on regular skateboard, it will not affect all your tricks. It's just more comfortable. Question number three. Is your shock absorbing grip tape is hard to install? Well, it depends on your abilities with a knife. It's a little bit harder because it's thicker. Some people have it first try, some don't. Just take your time. I've made a video on how to install it correctly. We have big opportunities, collaboration and awesome videos coming soon. To see more, you can also follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. If you have other questions, write them down below. It will be a pleasure to answer them. Thank you for watching on the Grip Channel. Yeah.